Hello everybody, I'm Alina and I've been living in China for almost five years. I work here as an art teacher and I was wondering if people are interested about expert life in China from my perspective and I can share a lot of interesting details about work here, especially if you're a creative person and I also aim to develop this channel as artistic and creative practitioner and I want to share my path as an artist so if you're interested in these topics please subscribe and follow my channel it would be really nice actually yeah and uh, there is my day uh, I thought it would be interesting to start with the vlog because when you know more about how person leaves and what is their daily routine you can understand them better and you can uh, see some similarities between you and them so enjoy enjoy my day in shanghai not in the city center so you will get more information about how is can be if you move here if you live in shanghai every morning you wake up with the hope that today is going to be a sunny day we rent the apartment on the first floor and the moisture level is super high so i use the humidifier after my morning routine i usually have a french lesson me and my husband are going to immigrate to canada so if you want to know more about this process let me know in the comment section i will film the video about this topic i use a bunch of apps or have a lesson with my friends tutor speaking about languages french is really hard to learn <laughs> and if you have any tips how how do you learn french please share in the comments i will appreciate it a lot it took a half of my life to speak more or less with confidence in english i'm afraid how much time we will take to do the same in french but let's come back to china life observation my husband brought some food this is the best he could find in the shop Especially cheese. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> what I really don't like in this apartment is the light <laughs> because this is daytime. Usually I have to use this light and now it's, it looks better. <laughs> what? What, dear? What I've learned here in China is to drink cold. Uh, <laughs> to drink hot water in, in russia i always drink cold water even in winter in the apartment we don't have um, centralized uh, heating system it's really important to keep warm my everyday routine is art creation yeah i have a separate room designed as my art studio but yeah i create pretty much everywhere I was thinking if it would be interesting for you, I could record a video about how I became an artist, what is my goal as an artist, and what I'm doing, why I'm doing this. So please let me know if this is an interesting topic. I will definitely answer the questions and everything. At the moment, I am MA illustration student in Falmouth University, England. If if you are interested in this process as well also let me know uh, you know this is my first video in english so i don't know which topic you're most interested in life in china studying whatever it just <laughs> just let me know so i will know you better i draw and paint at least 30 minutes every day or sometimes it can be four or five hours depending on work we live far away from the downtown of Shanghai and we don't have any fancy <laughs> European or Western restaurant around us. So usually we just cook at home. If you ask me why we don't just order Chinese food, um, I would say that authentic uh, Chinese food is a little bit different from what we used to eat in Russia. To be honest dramatically different <laughs> and i'm still cannot get used to this kind of food especially some spicy food i just prefer to cook to cook myself or when we go out we yeah we just uh, order some western dishes 
during quarantine times uh, which we experienced twice we cooked a lot and uh, yeah guys are you interested in this quarantine stories uh, yeah i can tell you a lot of interesting things about this time let me know again in the comment section if you would like to see it basically what i'm doing now is just taking a picture of my workout program my husband do it for me my husband is a basketball coach I can also interview him about his work, what he's doing, what is the salary, what are the requirements and so on. So please let me know if I shall do this. Now you're going to see the vicinity of our current location. I'll show you <laughs> what is outside and the way to the gym. I dare to say that at least a half of people in Shanghai um, own these electro bikes and we are not exce an exception so we usually use it to commute to work or go to GMS today actually it's illegal to travel together but yeah. as nobody checks we do this a lot towards the our our destination we never see police officers yeah so it's fine it's a normal thing to see this uh, guarded and barred gates. The community is also surrounded by walls. Cameras are everywhere, so we feel pretty much safe. Right at the opposite side, there is nothing, just abandoned place where people just grow some vegetables. It doesn't look nice, but uh, when you know how much do we pay for this apartment, <laughs> you will be surprised. To rent this apartment, we pay 3800 per month uh, without electricity and water. We pay three months ahead every time. This is the second year we do so. We have chosen this location because it's very close to our working place, about five minutes by bike. But apart from this and money we pay for this rent, there are more disadvantages than positives <laughs> in doing so so if you're going to live in shanghai think twice <laughs> when you're choosing a remote location for living but we live almost five years like this <laughs> in this area and we know all about surviving in chinese district my husband is a coach and it's very important to have a good gym uh, in the area because he go to the gym maybe four or five times per week and I'm also trying to <laughs> do it regularly at least twice a week and this is the building of our gym this is the best option we could find not too far in pricey and not too crowded and we've seen so many professional bodybuilders there so we felt like oh this is the right place because sometimes people in China consider the gym as the place where children can play, where granny can watch her movie out loud without headphones, no, etc. The same. Yeah. Good. Okay. Thanks. I believe that for a creative person, it's really important to go out and keep your body fit because sometimes you're stuck with your canvases and you don't move for a long time it's especially bad for your back and uh, neck so artists and other creative professionals please don't underestimate the importance of moving moving your body sometimes i like dancing so i just dance uh, at home I really like this just dance <laughs> uh, application game whatever nobody takes shower in the gym because it's super cold there is no heating system and in the winter it's freezing <laughs> after the workout we went to this small food shop and of course bought some fruits i will not get inside because i don't have a mask <laughs> i don't know if they are going to ask me to put it on in China, I was fascinated how quickly they build new communities and new buildings. I recorded this video during the Chinese New Year time, so there are a lot of red lanterns. We bought some fruits and berries in the shop. This two packs of berries is 55, 55 RMB. Oranges is around 30. Brownie. Who did that? 
Кто это сделал? Что это такое? Зачем ты разгрызла пульт? Oh, I forgot to put it away. No. Ah. Do you feel ashamed? Hmm? Look at this. Look at this. What you've done? Буся, как ты не могла предотвратить, что она сделала? Нет, нет, ты не виноват, это не ты, я знала, что ты не ты. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate all your likes, comments, even negative ones, because they help, they help to promote my video. So, yeah. Any opinions or thoughts or questions, please feel free to uh, write it down below in the comment section. And I also will be really grateful if you follow my channel. Um, yeah, and I will keep you updated. See you guys.